This is David, WA901Y. I've just installed Noobs 3.2 on a Raspberry Pi 2. Setting it up for some testing on SDR. I thought I'd capture some of the things I normally do after I do a install. I'll start up here in the corner. Basically, add, remove panel items. We're going to add CPU. Add temperature. Add usage. All right, let's move those up. You can see it move up in the corner here. We'll now move the CPU temperature. Okay. And then we have usage. Move it. It looks like it's blank, but we're going to fix that. So we'll close this. We'll click on this. Right click. Settings. Show usage as a percentage. Say OK. Okay. So we have a very cool running CPU at 29, 28 degrees C. It's because I got an active fan on it. Uh, if we go right click on this, oops, there we go, click, left click, at 600 megahertz, which is what we expect. All the Raspberry Pis, when they're uh, not loaded, throttle back to 600 uh, megahertz in order to reduce the heat and whatnot. All right, next thing, speaker. Let's go ahead and... Uh, right click on that. It's already set up for HDMI. We can see the volume is halfway down. Let's crank it all the way up. I usually use um, Logitech external speaker powered speakers. Now let's go to uh, the preferences and audio since we're messing around with the audio. Notice that nothing's been set up. This is true after installing uh, the operating system. So we'll select controls. Here, click on that. Close. And now we have a control. You'll need to do this if you have a USB headset. I do have a USB headset. And I will have to do this and add the controls for the... Uh, um, basically, they had phone and the microphone. Okay, let's say okay there. While we're still messing around on the taskbar, let's do, uh, set some defaults. Since I'm doing uh, videos, there's uh, a key thing is make things large so that people can see it. So the text here is way too small. So let's uh, see if we have preferences. And it's 10 points. Let's change that. We're going to increase it to 15 points. And select. So that will take care of that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, let's increase the uh, scroll line depth twice. Change it to uh, 2000. Hey, see how nice, big. It'll be easy to see, especially when we do command line uh, examples and whatnot in the YouTube video. Okay, that takes care of the command line interface. So let's go ahead and close that. Okay, programs. Notice I'm missing some programs. I normally would like to see that's Python. So we'll go and just kind of cruise down here. 
and we're gonna pick up and start there's Python games accessories the key thing is the SD copier every so often you should uh, uh, make a, a copy of your system let's see there's help preferences and remove software there's plenty of YouTube videos on it including it. appearance and settings remember make things big see this little mouse cursor now yeah, that's way too small so let's, uh, let's see where we find the mouse there it is mouse cursor I changed that to large voila let's see uh, it won't take until I do a uh, reboot. Okay. Let's go back down. Uh, we already did the audio. Keyboard and mouse. Um, nothing there. Oh, menu. Yes, menu editor. Here's where we're going to find our missing missing uh, Python program. Notice there's the check marks. So... Here they are. There's Python 2.7, which has a large install base. Uh, 3.7 is a new Python. I might as well add this since uh, the program's there. Okay, got that added. LibreOffice. And yeah, here's all the individual ones. Yeah, let's see what we have here. The Internet. Oh, I'll just leave that alone. Oh, here we go. That's uh, basically QJack. It should be a virtual cable. You'll have to mess with that one of these days with the software defined radio. Uh, nothing there. System. Yeah, there's our H top. Yes, that's good. Uh, let's see. Package install. Package log. Why not? Package updater. Yeah, definitely. Okay, software, we'll add that. Okay, we'll uh, add all those. Accessories. Help. Why not? Just a preference. There we go. Click some of these things. When it says off, find out uh, disabled screen savers, interrupts the software defined radio. Okay, so we're about to turn a whole bunch of things on. We say okay. So now let's see if we went back to system there, HTOP. I just did a video today on HTOP, and it tells me CPU loading. So here we are basically lightly loaded hardly um, you know three six percent or so forth okay I'll wrap up we've added uh, temperature here's our CPU uh, here's our device that tells me just putting mouse over it uh, that I'm running at 600 now we get this going. Uh, this is a in fact here we go. Knee N E O T A L Neo Fetch F E T C H. There's Neo Fetch. This was installed on this 
system. This is a Raspberry Pi 2 model B rev. So this is one of my older Raspberry Pis and we'll be testing this out with uh, GQRX in the next couple of days. This is David, 73 QRT. I invite you to look at the uh, WA901Y SDR playlist. There's now over 20 YouTube videos talking about the various projects and getting things set up, installing programs, and uh, other aspects of using the Raspberry Pi for SDR activities. Thank <laughs> you.